Jeffrey just legit farted and he sounded like a person. Hello, my lovely babies. I, well, babies, that's kind of weird because y'all are probably older. At least I hope so. Only adults should be watching this video. Say no to drugs, kids. Trust me, you do not. You don't wanna try this. So again, thank you so much for helping me to get my watch time hours. I'm trying not to like bombard y'all with ads because I know how annoying it can be when you're watching a video and it has like 25 ads on it and it's just like obnoxious. It's like, okay, are you really that poor bitch that you have to put that many ads on your video? You're not. So calm the fuck down. I wanted to ask you, like, how many ads for you? Because obviously I want to make as much money as I can. I mean, don't we all? How many ads would be too many? Let's say in a 30 minute video, for instance. I've been like wanting to make sure that I respect you watching. I mean, I watch YouTube as well and I cannot stand it when someone ad bombs the fuck out of their video and it's just like, okay, this is just too much, too much. I'd rather click off of it and leave. Also, I wanted to let you know that I created a new Instagram. So if you wanna follow me on my new Instagram because the old one was filled with a lot of assholes and we don't like assholes here. The reason being I changed my Instagram, just like I changed my Twitter. I mean, this is kind of like a rebrand, I would say, so that's why I wanted to change my socials as well. It's time to get into this very lovely memory slash story. The reason I'm telling this story now is because I got my monetization. Who knows if this video is even gonna be monetized. I'm gonna try not to say the D word. No, not that word, you naughty. You naughty, got your mind in the gutter. I ain't got nothing wrong with that D word. I really love that D word, if you know what I mean. Okay, that damn weave was driving me crazy. So I had to take my halo, hey la la la. Had to take my halo off, which was the, the hair that I was wearing that made my hair look longer because it just wasn't worth it. It was itchy and it was annoying. I got mad at it and told it that I hated it and threw it on the floor. Now, in this video today, we are going to be talking about edibles. And no, not the edibles that I would normally make on my old channel. I'm pretty sure you can use your imagination as to what kind of edibles I'm talking about. Starts with an M, ends with a Anna. Let's start with uh, where we were and how we came to be there. Me and Slava decided to take a little vacay to LA. It was just me and him, and I was so excited to go like without my mom, no offense mom, but I just wanted to just go and do whatever the hell I wanted to. I don't think I even told my mom this. We flew to LA, we were gonna be there for a week. I was possibly gonna collab with some people, but it never really happened. This was around, I think, Halloween, but it was still nice and like cool slash warm there in LA. So because this is legal in California and you can literally order it like pizza, me and Slava decided that uh, we wanted to order some things. So Slava was able to get his medical card or whatever for it. And so of course I just bummed off of him. <laughs> we went ahead and we ordered some of those goodies that I was telling you about. Now I remember going on the website and I was like, I wanna try a brownie, I wanna try a brownie. Bitch, no, just don't, don't do it. I don't know if you've ever done this, if you've ever tried edibles. I've smoked and I've also tried edibles. This is probably not a good thing to say on the internet, but I have done this in the past and I'm an adult, so say no to drugs, kids. So I was fairly new to smoking. I remember I would smoke like the vape that has the weed in it. So it's like a weed vape. I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about if you've ever smoked. That was cool. Like, that was great. So I was thinking, oh, this is nice, you know? I mean, I can just, like, do whatever. I can eat whatever. Gummy bears, brownies, whatever I wanted to. I just felt so comfortable. And y'all know those vapes are nowhere near as intense as a big blunt. Okay, a fucking joint. Let me get back to the whole website thing, which was really cool. Just in case you didn't know this, like California is like 
thebomb.com. I know nobody uses that anymore, but I still do because I'm like a mom. California, damn, like their weed is fucking awesome. They have probably the best weed in the world apart from possibly Amsterdam who were like the original OG weed place to go because it is legal there as well if you didn't know. And they literally have weed cafes and shit like that. I've always wanted to go to Amsterdam. Not for that because I'm not really into this sort of thing that much. I just think Amsterdam's cool. I don't remember what website it is. I mean, I'm not gonna say because I'm not gonna promote drugs or anything. And I sure as hell ain't gonna promote this. Even though it was really, really good, it was a little bit too good. You know what I mean? Like too much of a good thing ain't so good. Slava had picked out his weed or whatever and I didn't want to smoke. I was afraid that it would be way too strong for me and like I said, California is the fucking bomb when it comes to weed. Let's just say this is some good shit, okay? Pass that shit. Who knows what movie that's from? Pass that shit. Remember that movie? Don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. Oh my gosh, I love that movie. It was so good. I go on the website after Slava finishes like picking out what he wants and he gets like some new pipes and a grinder and shit like that. And I go on there and I'm like a fucking child, of course. I'm like, ooh, I wanna try gummy bears. I wanna try a brownie, you know? I'm like a kid in a weed candy store, basically. And Slava was like, okay, well we can get some gummy bears and we'll also, I think we, it came with like this little plastic pack of gummy bears. We also ordered a brownie, like a whole brownie. So they basically delivered it like pizza, like Postmates, basically Postmated us some pot. And we get it, and of course they have little goodies in there. They put like little free shit in there for you, like a free pipe and bells and whistles and all this shit. I mean, you sure as hell wouldn't get that anywhere else unless it was legal, of course. Let's just say their service was amazing. It was so awesome. And I told Slava, I was like, I can't believe we just ordered weed like pizza. What? the fuck is this world coming to <laughs> like it's a it's awesome like no no offense or whatever to anyone who smokes weed because i do enjoy a little puff puff give every now and then but only when i'm in california obviously i don't smoke at home because it is illegal where i live oh i also forgot to tell you like what year this was this i believe was the last time we went to la i think this was 2017. i remember my hair was pink at the time so you know what i'll insert the photo right here here are the two dumbasses right here or should i say here is the one dumbass and let me just say this was the morning after this event took place so once we got all of our stuff. Slava decided, you know, he wanted to take a little puff and we were gonna do a little and then leave. So we were staying on Hollywood and Vine and we wanted to like walk around and maybe go to some of the shops and possibly go out to eat because I was starving. I'm pretty sure you see where this is going, right? I was hungry. Slava, he went ahead and he smoked a little. He's like way more experienced with this than me. I get my little brownie and I was telling Slava, oh, we need to go out to eat or whatever after we smoked because you know, munchies and all that fun shit. I remember Slava, I think he was getting dressed. He was like getting ready to go. I had already gotten dressed and I told Slava, I was like, oh, do you wanna try the brownie? And he said, yeah, I'll take a piece. So he took like a little piece of it, like tiny bit and the rest of the, the the rest of the brownie I think the brownie was about this big I tasted it just know that I had no experience with edibles I'd never tried it I was starving on top of it which is probably not a good thing especially when you give me a brownie I have brownies and gummy bears like right here but the thing is my dumb ass didn't think this shit is laced with pot this shit is filled with Puff the Magic Dragon. I thought the damn brownie tasted good. You couldn't even really taste the weed. You could kind of taste a little something that was off, but the, the damn brownie was so good. I told Slava, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. And I was like eating it. I took like a couple of bites of it, which already I probably shouldn't have even taken two bites. It was a pretty nice sized brownie and Slava had only taken a little nibble of it. Let's just say that because he, he prefers to smoke 
I told Slava, I was like, oh, do you want to try a gummy bear? And again, the gummy bears were delicious. They didn't taste anything like pot. They were great. So I decided, and these were big ass gummy bears. These weren't like little tiny ones. This is like a big ass gummy bear. That motherfucker was on steroids or some shit. I ate two of those big gummy bears. And after that, I decided, hmm, I know we're going out to eat, but for some reason, I'm still hungry. I am a starving ass bitch. I'm a glutton. After I ate the gummy bears, I told Slava, I was like, I don't feel anything. Well, what my dumb ass didn't realize was that edibles take a little bit longer than usual to kick in. And Slava, he had never experienced edibles either, so he didn't know that I was probably supposed to wait. I started like eating the brownie. Remember, I ate two gummy bears too. So I kept eating it and eating it. And I'm like, I don't feel anything. And before I knew it, that motherfucker was gone. That brownie no longer existed. So now that I'm packed full with five pounds of pot, I was smart enough to say, okay, let's go. Let's go walk down Hollywood and Vine with millions of people around. Slava had finished getting dressed. We went downstairs. We start walking down the street, okay? And we decided we wanted to go to like Bed Bath & Beyond. We were just walking down Hollywood and Vine. We were going in different stores and just enjoying ourselves. We get into Bed Bath & Beyond and I'm like sitting in this uh, massage chair or like foot massage chair that they had in there and Slava was walking around and this was probably about 15 minutes after I had eaten the brownie and the gummy bears and Slava had asked me like do you feel anything and I thought I felt calm that was like a placebo effect let's just say that I was just thinking that I felt something I didn't actually feel anything yet but we're getting to that so I'm sitting there and then all of a sudden like Slava starts to talk to me and he starts to echo. So I was just like, hmm, keep in mind, I've suf I suffer from severe anxiety and panic disorder. So these types of things and like these experiences are so triggering for me and that's because when you're in anxiety or whatever a lot of this same shit happens when you're going through panic and anxiety it seems like weed literally mimics it to a t in a negative way like i know some people smoke it and they're perfectly fine they're like chill and they enjoy it but for me fuck i start feeling um a little woozy and I told Slava, I was like, Slava, I love... Th I could not complete the sentence. Slava, he came to me and he was like, are you okay? And I was like, getting up out of the chair and I swear the room started to dance around me. I was just like, holy... Oh my gosh. And then all of a sudden everything around me feels as though it's outside and like I'm on the inside just looking it's so hard to explain but if you've ever had this feeling before it literally just feels like this shit was starting to kick in and this ain't even the worst part about it I start to kind of trip a little bit like freak out and I just grab a hold of Slava and I'm like Slava I, the the I gotta the hotel hotel now and he was like what i thought we were gonna go out to eat you know and i'm like take me back to the hotel now i said this shit is freaking me the fuck out i can't do this like i can't even walk it, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse i'm literally in the middle of this humongous city hollywood boulevard and i'm like holding on for dear life to Slava. And it's like at that time, I was like trusting him so much to get me back to that motherfucking hotel. And our hotel was probably about two blocks away. So we had to go around and down the damn street. There were people walking. And as I was walking back, it was just getting dark too. Slava was like, damn, you're like so fucked up. And I said, Slava, this is making me have an anxiety attack. I can't do this. I can't do this. I hate it when people say this. He was like, oh honey, it's okay. Just enjoy it. Calm down. 
Bitch! I could not calm down. There was no way in fucking hell I could calm down. The drug was literally making me feel like I'm in a never-ending pee attack. Y'all know I hate saying that word, but you know what I mean. And I was literally just like in my own little world. I remember saying something and what I said made absolutely no sense. Like I told him, I was like, what are we doing um, there to hotel bleh, bleh. That is what I was doing. And Slavo was like, you're tripping. Like, you can't even make a sentence. He was like, why are you talking like that? Like, he was completely just like shocked that I was this fucked up because I, for one, did not think we does that to you. I thought you were supposed to relax and enjoy it. Hell no, hell no. That is absolutely not the case in my case. Maybe for you, not for me. So as I'm walking, I'm literally just holding on to Slava for dear life and I could barely walk. I was just like stumbling everywhere and there were people staring at me. I almost fell down. Like it was so embarrassing, but yet at the time I did not give a shit. I just needed to get back to the hotel so I could go and die. I was like, I've got to get out of here. And then all of a sudden I start thinking about my mom and how she's gonna miss me so much when I die. I was being very dramatic, but if you have anxiety, if you smoke weed, take caution because it can literally elevate your anxiety to where you feel like you're in a constant state of panic. That's what it felt like for me. Slava finally gets me into the hotel room after stumbling my ass around and embarrassing the shit out of myself. Well, we were actually staying in an Airbnb, thank God, so it wasn't an actual public hotel where there'd be tons of people to watch me follow my ass. I finally made it to the room and I go in and I literally just like fall onto the couch and I'm just like what the fuck I can't even make sentences and I told Slava I'm like I don't know what's wrong with me I think I'm dying I think I'm dying and he was like you are not dying you can't die from smoking weed or eating it or whatever I'm like yes I can I my heart's beating out of my chest. I can't do this. Cause sometimes when you smoke, like it makes your heart beat faster. Like for me it does. But oh my gosh, I remember because I suffer from severe anxiety and panic dis Ugh, I hate that word. P disorder. Y'all know I hate saying that word. I always make sure that I have an emergency bottle of pills. Actually, my doctor prescribed me Buspar. If you know what I what Buspar is, it's a very mild muscle relaxer. My doctor prescribed me the Buspar anytime I had like situational anxiety. So I would always keep that Buspar with me when I went out of state. Also keep in mind, I also take a beta blocker, which is called Indorol or Propranolol. This is due to my thyroid, making my heart rate increase every now and then. I am on that. It's prescribed for anxiety for some people. When you're high, when you're this fucked up, everything around you is like not there. It's kind of like you're inside of your own mind and you can't escape it and you're just like freaking out because you're sitting here watching yourself act like a fucking idiot freaking the hell out i told slava i was like how do i stop i couldn't even talk and then all of a sudden slava starts talking like an idiot i think he smoked a little bit more or something and he was just like just enjoy it it's okay it's okay and i'm over here like <sighs> Lord Jesus help me and I, I was literally praying out loud for God to just like either let me die or just kill me knock me out I don't know just I can't take this feeling anymore I was going insane I remember it was kind of like time goes by so slow but yet so fast I don't know how people actually like this feeling. That's what I was thinking at the time. I was just like, who the fuck wants to feel this way? Why do people rave about how good this shit is? This shit is a nightmare. It was my worst nightmare. Being stuck inside of a never ending state of anxiety. 
like anxiety attack. That's what it felt like. Slava starts acting a fool. That doesn't help my nerves anymore. If anything, it makes me even worse. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm here with this high motherfucker and I'm dying. And he's like laughing about everything. Like he was literally just like laughing at everything. He was having a damn good time while I was over there dying. And he was just enjoying himself and he was eating and he was like watching YouTube videos on his phone. I'm sitting here like, I was like a damn dead fish on the pier just flopping around like <laughs> oh shit that hurt i legit came to a point to where i was thinking i need to call an ambulance that is how fucked up i was but i was like no my mom can't find out my mom would die knowing i'm out of state and i'm fucked up on weed so i was just like hell no i'm not doing that i'm just going to have to power through it bitch you're going to power through it you did it you ate all that shit you're going to have to deal with it and Slava, he reassured me over and over, like, you're not going to die. You're not going to die. But the thing is, I would have rather died. I would have rather be knocked out. I wish I could have knocked my ass out because that is how agonizing it was. And for someone with anxiety, this was a whole nother level of fucked up than I was normally used to. I felt like I'd fall asleep in my own mind and then I'd wake up and Slava would be somewhere else. Like he had done crawled to another room or something like that because he was high as fuck. And I was like above high. I was like in fucking universe, the space, like the end of the universe. He was just high in the clouds. After I realized time was going by so fast and so slow all at the same time, I was losing track of time. I didn't, I couldn't stay in reality basically is how I felt. I felt like I was on LSD or some shit like that. I remember I crawled to the bed because I was like, okay, I didn't say this, but I was thinking to myself, okay, if I can just make it to the bed, I can lay down and maybe go to sleep and sleep this shit off, right? Once I got to the bed, I decided to start taking my clothes off. I was like, Slava, I'm so hot. Give me some water. Give me, give me a cold towel. I'm just like freaking out right now. And he was like acting stupid, of course, because he was high as fuck. And uh, I'm over here like taking my clothes off and taking everything off. I, I didn't take my bra and panties off, but I took every fucking thing off. After I made it to the bed, I stripped my clothes off. Slava came in. He was like laughing at me. He was like, oh my gosh, why are you acting like this? <laughs> like Slava, I'm serious. Like seriously. Rewind back to when we were walking back from Bed Bath & Beyond to our hotel. The first time I felt it hit me, I was walking down the street and I just started to say something and I said something so out there. There is a puppy over there and there's frogs dancing around in the sky. I had said something and Slava was like, what? What did you, what, what, did, what the hell are you talking about? And that's when it really triggered my anxiety because I had realized, wow, what the hell did I say? Why did I say that? And that's when I realized, oh shit, this is hitting me hard. Like it's hitting me like a damn bull hits a rodeo rider, okay? Back to the hotel, after I stripped off all my clothes, Slava got me a wet towel and I just like took the towel and I was just trying to do something to get out of this. I was trying to get out of it. I put it all over my body. And the next thing I know, I felt a little better. Like I didn't feel super hot anymore, but I was still freaking out. Like everything around me was spinning, everything. It felt like I was in a tin can. And whenever Slava would say something, he echoed. I remember laying there for about an hour. I was still freaking the hell out, but there was nothing I could do. I just laid there and took it. So remember I told you I had the abuse bar. After I cooled down, I crawled onto the fucking floor. I fell on the floor and I was just like holding on to the nightstand because in that top drawer is where I put all of my medicine. So the abuse bar I had, it was only like 0.5 milligrams, right? 
So it was really mild. I would have to take a pretty good bit. I was so fucked up. I was like, okay, maybe if I take something to calm down, maybe it'll, you know, retroact what's going on here. And I found my propranolol, my Enderol. I found the Buse Bar and I just poured that shit in my hands. I was just like counting to make sure I don't OD on this shit. And I just like put them in my mouth, drank a whole thing of water, and I was sitting there like water coming down my mouth. I'm just like, Ugh. My mouth was so dry too. And I took about maybe six pills. I took like three Enderol and three Buspar. It was like 60 milligrams of Enderol. And then I got really upset once again because it kind of came at me in waves. Like something weird would happen again in my mind and I would freak the hell out again. And I was just like dying on the inside. I told Slava, I was like, okay, I think I need to go to the bathroom. I had to do number two because I was so filled with panic and anxiety. I had to poop basically. I went in there and I remember I got on my phone and I was looking up ways to come out from under marijuana basically to stop the weed. I found several articles like how to get out of a weed coma basically and it definitely didn't have very good news for me. In the article it said there's really no way. I did read that if you take muscle relaxers they can help you to come out of it. That was a good thing for me. I was like, okay, check, did it. And then I was trying to find other ways to come out of it. And they basically said, there's no fucking way. So you're just gonna have to lay there and take it. I was not too happy about that. So I went and I, I, I found Slava somewhere. He was laying on the floor, staring at the ceiling or some shit like that. I was like stumbling and I stumbled into our Airbnb living room. I was like, Slava, I need, I'm thirsty. My, I need to drink, you know? I was, I said, I'm so thirsty. Like my mouth was so dry. He was like, well, there's some water over there. There's like a pitcher of water. <laughs> I remember I took that whole damn thing. I was just like pouring down my mouth and my chin and my neck. I was sopping wet. Keep in mind, I was still half naked at the time. I look like a damn idiot. I look like I escaped from a mental ward. But like I said, I didn't give a shit. I was dying on the inside. So after I gave myself a shower with the water from the refrigerator, I asked Slava, how do I come out of this? He said, you could eat something. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, my fucking mouth is so dry, there's no way I can eat anything. I found like a, some crackers, of course the, the driest shit on earth, or cookies or something like that. That's all we had at the time. I remember putting the cookie in my mouth and it just stayed there for a while because I had like fallen asleep in my own mind and I was like standing there with the pitcher of water and I was just like nodding out and shit. I realized my fucking mouth was dry as a damn camel's asshole. I needed to pour some more of that damn water in my mouth to get this down so I can get out of this. I poured that into my mouth and I remember it just tasted terrible, like water and cookies and I could only do like maybe a little bite of that damn cookie. And of course that shit isn't gonna work. Slava's over there eating chips and having the munchies, having a good old time. And I'm over here out of my mind. After I finished eating a little bite of cookie, I crawled over to the couch in that area where Slava was and I was like, this is crazy. How do I get out of this? And he was like, you're just gonna have to wait, you know, or try to eat some more. I said, I can't eat, I can't eat anything. I said, I am just, my mouth is so dry and I'm freaking out right now. I don't know if I can do this anymore. There was nothing you could say to me to give me comfort or to make me feel better in that moment. I was just done. I noticed that I was starting to feel a little bit more calm. 
because, you know, them pills were kicking in. So I decided, I told Slava, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try and go to bed. It was like maybe 1 a.m., 1 or 2 in the morning at this point. I don't know. I mean, time was going by so slow and so fast all at the same time. It was so crazy. I crawled into the bedroom and I was actually able to find my night clothes. I put on my pajamas and I crawled in the bed and it took me a while to go to sleep. I remember. Like, it took me forever and I was just tossing and turning I was like god please I was thinking of my mom and how she is gonna miss me so much when I'm gone because I honestly thought I was dying I really wanted to call my mom in that moment but she would have had my head on a platter if she heard that I was smoking weed in California what what the fuck I thought I saw smoke. I think it's just my damn eyeballs. That's so funny that I would see smoke. Now that I'm talking about smoke and that's weird. It legit looked like smoke, but I think it's just my eyes playing tricks on me because I've been staring at this damn ring light for about an hour. I remember I wanted to call my mom just to say my final goodbyes, but I was like, hail to the no. She would kill me if she found out. And I know I'm an adult, but I don't care whether you're an adult whether you're 50 years old and your parents are still alive, you just still have this thing in you to where you can't let your parents find out because your parents are going to be so disappointed in you or they're just going to feed, they're going to chew you out or something. I know my mom definitely would. Like, what the hell did you do that for and stuff like that? But I know in the t at the time she probably would have been like, it's okay or whatever, but then later on she would have gotten me. I chose to just like die because that would have been easier. So I was thinking like, I can't believe I'm here in California right now. I'm so far from home. I'm gonna die here. I wish I didn't have to die here. I wanna go home, you know. that that Those were the thoughts that were running through my head. I don't know what the hell they put in those brownies or the gummy bears, but damn. There was like some kind of fucking hallucinogenics or some shit in that. I was spinning. I was in another world. I was on planet X in the middle of the universe. I felt like I was having an out of body experience in a very, very negative way. The aliens were gonna beam me up and I would be gone forever. I finally managed to go to sleep after Slava was coming in and out and acting like a fool and stuff like that. And I told him, I was like, just go away and leave me alone. I just wanna go to sleep. I'm like freaking out. So. He finally went away and I went to sleep and the next morning I woke up and I was so afraid that I was gonna go to sleep and feel the same when I woke up. I woke up the next morning at about 10 o'clock. I felt perfectly fine, like I was good. There was nothing wrong. I didn't feel anything, but I do remember still having like a, a little twitch, you know, from the anxiety that I was having the night before. Cause usually if you have like really bad anxiety, It'll affect your nerves for the following days after. You'll just be kind of on edge or like kind of twitchy every now and then. I did smoke a little bit of the vape after, like after I got up and stuff. I smoked some of the weed vape because that actually gave me a chill feeling. It made me feel more calm. And I also took a little bit extra Enderol and I was good for the rest of the day. We went out sightseeing. I think we went to Universal. Maybe you're watching this high right now. If you are and you don't like it, just go your ass to sleep because there ain't nothing you can do. Sorry to break it to you. I can legit say that I died, was beamed up by aliens, taken all the way to the ass end of the universe. I came back, had a second coming. I was beamed back down with all the cows and everything that they stole too. And I woke up right there in my bed in LA and I'm here to tell the story. No, I will never ever in my entire motherfucking life eat an edible again. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had the same reaction when you smoked weed. Have you ever done any drug that made you feel out of your mind like you were beamed up by aliens and then came back to life? I would love to know in the comments. That's all for this video. Subscribe if you like, if you enjoy my videos and think I'm worth watching again. Follow me on my social medias. You'll have 
an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Love you. Mwah.